On the 25th of January, Malaysia announced her first few cases of COVID-19. By the end of February, Malaysia had more than a thousand confirmed COVID-19 cases. On the 18th of March, the nationwide movement control order began in attempts to curb the spread of COVID-19. How has COVID-19 influenced Malaysia as a country? Hello everyone, my name is Yan Yan and today I'm here to share with you the changes that COVID-19 has brought upon my country, Malaysia. As COVID-19 hit Malaysia, Malaysians united as a country to fight it. The government observed closely on the spread of COVID-19 and on March 18, decided that a movement control order was needed. As frontliners continued to work hard to fight the virus, citizens abided by the movement control order ruling and encouraged each other to stay at home. Because of the movement control order, schools, universities and colleges had to close. Though COVID-19 could stop schools from operating, it did not stop the learning process. Teachers and students fought through poor connections and reduced efficiency to continue teaching and learning through online platforms. However, COVID-19 did cause huge changes to exam schedules. Major exams such as UPSR and PT3 have been cancelled for the year 2020, while SPM and STPM have been postponed to year 2021. These changes have caused students' graduation to be delayed and changes made to their plans of further study. Aside from schools, officers too had to stop operating. During the movement control order, people began to work from home. Meetings were held through video conferencing and many things have had to shift online in a short period of time. Although some have found working from home more efficient for them, some still prefer to return to the office to work. As large gatherings of people pose a potential threat from the spread of COVID-19, places of worship had to close, religious activities were suddenly put to a stop. However, devotees continued their religious activities in their respective homes. Celebrations of religious festivals had to be cancelled as well, and Vesak Day and Easter were celebrated online. Religious associations, pre-recorded religious activities as well as seminars on festival topics to be shared with devotees through online platforms. One of the largest festivals of Malaysia is the Ramadan festival and the Hari Raya Aizutri. Because of the COVID-19, the Ramadan bazaars that everyone looked forward to could not be held. Instead, a few Malaysians came together and formed the e-bazaar so that vendors could continue their businesses online. As for Hari Raya Aizutri, COVID-19 has definitely changed the way people celebrate this festival this year. The government has announced that citizens should refrain from returning to hometowns and that large group of gatherings were not allowed. Hari Raya Ideal Fitri is a time where families gather together and enjoy celebratory feasts and fellowship. However, because of COVID-19, the way Hari Raya Ideal Fitri is celebrated has had to change. 2020 is also an auspicious year for weddings. Many have looked forward to having their weddings on this beautiful year with their chosen dates. But COVID-19 has come and thrown all of their wedding plans off course. Could couples still get married at this time? Reports have shown that some couples have decided to proceed with their marriage solemnizations. However, the marriage solemnizations could only be performed at the religious affairs departments in their district and only the minimum number of witnesses were allowed. No other ceremonies or celebratory things were to follow. COVID-19 has definitely increased the health and hygiene awareness of Malaysians. As wet markets became hotspots for the spread of COVID-19, Malaysians became aware that poor hygiene can endanger health. Now, hands are washed often, faces are not to be touched, face masks are worn, hand sanitizers are brought everywhere and a strong immune system is of prime importance. 
Aside from working and studying at home, Malaysians have found so much more time that they are returning to kitchens and relearning cooking skills, baking skills and even exploring new dishes. After all, food is an important culture to Malaysians. What is even more interesting is that husbands and fathers have learned to do grocery shopping. This is because the beginning of the movement's control order had a ruling that only one member was to leave the house and that was to be the head of the family. The videos circulating online showed husbands and fathers shopping through their handphones as they made video calls or phone calls to make sure that they were purchasing the right items for the family. One of the greatest impacts of COVID-19 is on the nation's economy. COVID-19 has forced many businesses to go into survival mode, with some even filing for bankruptcy. During this time, key figures in business have organized seminars to educate entrepreneurs on how to shift their business online. This is because as everyone is stuck at home, shopping continues online. Small businesses have also collaborated with one another to support each other and survive through these trying times. On the positive side of the crisis that COVID-19 has brought, faith in humanity has been restored. One story showed how a younger neighbor offered to help his elderly neighbor get the supplies she needs so that she does not have to go out and expose herself to dangerous places. Organizations have also introduced initiatives to connect people who are in need to people who want to help. When there was a shortage of face masks, citizens stayed at home and helped to make face shields for the frontliners. These stories of Malaysians helping Malaysians are indeed heartwarming and it is a beautiful sight to see that in times of crisis, Malaysians are coming together to help one another get through these times. COVID-19 has indeed been a great cause of anxiety for Malaysians. Within a short time, many major changes were demanded on the routines of Malaysians. However, Malaysia has shown her ability to adapt in times of crisis through innovation and teamwork. COVID-19 has influenced Malaysia to show her resilience in the midst of crisis. This video was created for the subject Malaysia's multi-ethnic and cultural society. Thank you for watching.